What is up everybody, it is Life's Apprentice. Well today, I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to line up one side of the valley to the other side of the valley. One of my most popular videos is how to shingle a closed valley like this. And I had a lot of requests about how to get each side of the valley to line up. Now, not every valley is like this and there's gonna be all different variations, but I'll, I'll teach you guys how in the best that I can, the best way that I can explain it. Um, pay attention because it is slightly complicated. So I shingled this side. I did not snap any lines down here. Um, and in theory, that side over there should be identical, but we don't know that. So what I did is I measured from the peak down to the top of the shingle here. We have 164 here, also 164. Here we have 163 and a half. So we're a half inch off from the peak. No big deal, half inch is nothing. Same thing over here, we measure down. And um, right here is 163 and a half. You're gonna take your lowest measurement. Um, so you, you don't wanna take your highest, you wanna take the lowest measurement. That's gonna be the lowest part of your shingle. And we're gonna snap that line across, measuring from the peak. And here is our line. This will be the top of our shingles. And then each shingle is 11 and a half inches wide. So we just multiplied that out in this case and we went to um, 46, snapped the line, 46 inches down from that line, and 46 inches down from this line, so on and so forth. I guess if, if you wanna do every row or every other row, you can do that. And then we have determined our second row of shingles from the bottom. The top edge of our second row of shingles will be right there. This first row is gonna be just a little bit off. Um, instead of having the entire reveal showing this first row, we will have um, a small amount. You know, it'll be like four and a half inches instead of five and three quarters or something of the reveal actually showing. Now you can cheat that and take it like a half inch out of each one if you're trying to gain a couple of inches, um, which we will probably do. Um, we'll just cheat these up on top of this line a little bit here and a little bit there and a little bit there That way we don't completely cover um, The amount that we're off in one course of shingles keep in mind all shingles are slightly different um, In size so the measurements that I'm telling you are for the shingles that we are using not for all shingles So here on this other side we did the same thing um, This side is much bigger and this side is small. This side we're also off a little bit more. Um, we are 71 and a half here from the peak to the top. We are 72 and a half here and we are 73 here. So we are an inch and a half off to the peak up there. But we will easily be able to get that um, straight to the ridge. I mean, if you take an eighth of an inch off of 12 courses, you're gonna gain that inch and a half. Now over here on this side, because this side is not equal to that side, reveal here is five and three quarter inches, right? So we did 11 and a half, which will be every two courses. Um, and we went from our line here, we snapped that all the way across. We came down 11 and a half, down 11 and a half, down 11 and a half all the way until we got to the bottom. So every second course, we will line up with this line, and then we know that when we get up here, we will be exact to these rows, and very, very close to exact to the ridge. Um, so if you have questions, I guess leave them in the comments. Um, if this is helping you, I would appreciate it if you left the thumbs up. And if you want to learn more how-to type things as far as videos go, subscribe to my channel. Go to my channel. I have a lot of roofing and how-to videos on there that will teach you a lot of different things about roofing. So for the sake of the video, this side is much smaller. So we're going to show you how we shingle this. And um, we will show you exactly how it all lines up at the top. My first line is here. We didn't, we weren't able to really snap lines down here. So I just have a reminder. This is going to be the top of my second row. 
This is the top of my second row, and I'm just kind of gauging it with a shingle here. So I'm just gonna slip this over and just double check that we're good. We're gonna nail this first course. It's not super crucial that these small pieces are square or anything like that. We're really more concerned when we get up there. All these are gonna have to get cut until we get into full courses. So there's my first course. Here is my second course. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do a, a video explaining this. And maybe I'm the first one. There's not, there's a lot of ways you could do this. I'm not saying this is the best way or the only way. This is my way. And really, with some pretty simple math, so here, I don't, we didn't snap a line yet, but I'm right on there. That's what we want. These next couple courses, we'll actually get to a line. So we snapped on this side every other course. Because I don't think you really need a line on every single course, but if you want to, you very well can. So now this one, we want to make sure that it lines up with our line or very close. So you can see we're off just a little bit, but we got room. We got room. All right, I need some shingles. All right. I'm gonna keep going. No, we're on our line there. Where is it? There it is. You just want to stay really close to that line. There you can see the line. That's a shiner. Hello, nail. I don't want that. It's one thing about these certainties. I know they say you don't have to nail it in the common bond, but I try to nail it in the common bond, and these have the smallest common bond. I have ever seen. All right, we are on the money on our line. And we are getting up there where we need to be. Need some of them pocket nails. I got them. Guys got nails for days. Alrighty.
Now we're on our second to last chalk line. And this is where it's all gonna tie together and make perfect sense. If it doesn't already. My offset's the same. Look at that. What is that crap? Anytime you're roofing, don't use certainties. And then for this one, uh, we're gonna want it right about there. So I'm just gonna add a little piece in here. Um, I'll add a little piece right there and then our ridge will go up underneath all this and it will be nice and watertight. But that's basically how you can see. See we're on our, on our chalk line and everything's gonna line up really nice. And all we gotta do is just continue that based on our lines all the way out to the end and then we know that we're straight and we can run the rest of the roof. I'm not gonna nail this on, it's obviously bottom of the path. Another fine certainty product. Hopefully that helped you guys. Um, if it did, leave me a thumbs up. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. Subscribe if you want more. I have lots of other videos on my channel you guys can go check out. I'll link a couple here and here. If you guys are interested, take a look at those. I appreciate you for watching. We'll see you next time.